Welcome to Dyson's Hair Program. My name is Nilaus and I will be your guide today on how to get the absolute perfect start to Dyson's Hair Program. There is a new patch with logistics drones and because of that there are a number of additional items that need to be created. So what I have uh, worked on is I have made a new design for a an early game hub that will get you just from the very beginning and it'll last all the way to the very end game with some clever updates along the way we're going to be covering the early game and then the transition into the mark II belts so we have all the things that you will need to build and that'll just speed you up as you progress so the first thing we want to do when we get to a planet is we want to find some place where we can build it you want to be find something that's close to the equator and we are actually in this uh, instance let's we look at it we're actually really really close to the equator so that's here then uh, we want to find a spot on the map where we have a bit of room for uh, for us to work on and we we need sort of an area like this and then moving on in this direction this water will always can we we can always landfill it as we progress but this is good enough for us to get started it's close to our starting uh, iron and copper and we have more stuff around it so pretty good uh, place to start uh, what we're going to do in the beginning, since this relies heavily on getting our uh, our mass construction, then I will just be making like a very small little build here just to get the going, and then we can start working on uh, on the blueprinting. Now we've uh, gathered some of the materials we have. We've just set up two minor miners for each of those locations. We have one belt of stone, one belt of copper, and two belts of iron. We get that a bit down there, but that's uh, that's worth it. I put this uh, location in. If we look at this, I have my equator here, um, and then we have one, two, three, four locations up here. Uh, that should be enough space. So we now go into this blueprint. This blueprint is linked in the description below, and probably also in the first comment, if I remember it. And we have 11 blueprints that we can then add in sequence. And we don't need to add all of them. We can just add them as we want to. But we will, of course, take number one. These are all uh, designed so that they are just below the limit of uh, of what we what we need here, uh, 1.5. And that means uh, we need to take a look at this. And I will be placing it. Here's the important part. You place the power pole on one of the grid lines. And I would place the copper part one away from my corner here. So that is a good location we have now used the blueprint for the first time and we are building this and we are also going to get into the second one just making one and two will be a good boon for us i will just rotate it and they will again be placed right below the first one and again the power pole on the white line once we get that done and then we have number three as well will also be something that makes sense to add the three is just a storage over on the other side where we just put it into storage so i will be placing it here with this one done we now need to just wait for it to be completed once it's completed we can then get our materials inbound and then we can see how awesome it works as it uh, as it hooked up but because we don't really have a lot of uh, of materials right now then it's going to take a bit of time to get it going and so we built the next part and as we uh, hook this up this is of course something that if i was just playing it for myself and not for a showcase i would be hooking it up gradually so we could get the uh, the iron going and so we can use that for more crafting more belts but for this case it's uh, for the show and i want to show you how well it works and how it just flows in here as is smoothly as this and as with this is happening this is a good time for me to remind you that uh, you can show your appreciation for this kind of uh, work it takes a lot of time to do these kind of things uh, by hitting the like button and of course consider subscribing if you want to keep catch up with more cool designs for various factory games and the likes here on the channel so now we have uh, everything coming out. We can see that this location is taken care of of uh, stone bricks and glass. Glass is not used for right now, but it, we'll get it. We'll need it later on. Uh, iron and here we are going to make just a bit of copper. We need that later on as well. And you also might need it for just a few solar panels if you want to go with that road. Uh, we have some circuits and some magnetic coils and that is where we can then go into the next part of this build you can see that this ends exactly on a on a line which is important for the next stage of this one so now we go in here and take a look at the fourth stage now we start going into the actual construction part of this and well in this case i have to remember that i always have to uh, rotate these by two and if i place it here we will now get into the next part what we need to to make here is getting 
all of this done into some of the stuff that we want. And we can then go towards the next one. This is the sorters. This is kind of the most important one to get going. You don't have to add any more at this point. Because this is what this is the most important thing to get going. You have your uh, coils and your circuits. You have your raw materials in boxes. You can get now get belts automated. You can get as uh, solders automated, and you can get assembly machines automated. Once you have those three things automated, well, then uh, everything just becomes a lot easier to uh, to to scale up faster. Of course, we'd also like to get faster drones, but you know we can't really just get that. And as we have built this, we are now moving on to, or ready to move on to the next part. And uh, here it's important to uh, to emphasize that I prioritize how to build this in two different priorities. First of all, I want to make sure that things are grouped together. So, for example, I can't use anything that uses steel at this point because I don't have steel in here. Uh, on the other hand, I also want to prioritize as early as possible on this, well, let's call it the bus. I want to uh, to have the things that we want the fastest possible. So what is what would that be? Well, that would be stuff like, uh, let's get these ones in here. Uh, there would be power poles, it would be miners, uh, it would be smelters. And let's let be power poles, please. And that is power poles, yes. So those are the, definitely the next things that I'd really want to get uh, to get automated in here. And we can then continue and looking at the next part, we'll then get into wind turbines and make sure that I place it correctly. And it goes into wind turbines here. The next one will be thermal power and water pumps. So you can see that's less important as it looks like like now. And then we get over to the monitor labs here. But those are not actually possible to build at this point because we are now running into water. That means at some point before you can continue, then that's not really a, a big requirement, but you really need to get this environmental modification done. This is something that now I do focus on this part, but of course you also need to build a little science facility somewhere that you can uh, grind away on your, your blue science so we can actually get all these things. You can see that we don't even have all the things that uh, need to be unlocked yet, but that we'll get that it's part of the improved logistics system here, the splitter uh, as well. So we'll uh, get this part, we'll research a bit of the environmental modifications so we can landfill this part and we can continue with our uh, with our expansion here. And with foundations research, we have paved a bit away here and we can then add the last bits of our research. This is uh, this part, which isn't really at this point. You can also see we could build all of this without having any uh, any issues, just with the little space we had available here. Uh, so it's not really a big deal what we have available or um, how much space. It's not that bad. And because the lower priority ones are here at the end, uh, I'll be placing this and you can see oh, uh, this is kind of important. You cannot place a an inserter or a sorter will not connect to a ghost. So I have to wait until. And where is it? That one. Rotate, rotate. And it has to be built before it can connect. Uh, this sorter here. So that's the only thing we have to keep in mind. Now at this point we have uh, built all the things that we would sort of want to get at the earliest game and this will last you quite a while. It lasts you actually into uh, into you build your red signs. So with what we want to do sort of after all of this is done is sort of fast forward a bit in terms of just looking. I'll just show you one more expansion that you can do for this where we up to include the fidget spinners or the logistics drones as they are also uh, also called. We'll be adding this uh, adding this here and you can see there's more space and that space will be utilized as well. But now we also have traffic monitors. I don't use traffic monitors enough, but I think that by having them into my build, I will be using them a lot more uh, in the future. And uh, likewise, we also now have uh, something like this, the assembling machines here, which isn't really, or, or sorry, the electric engine is not really super important, but it's actually handy if we want to make it into the next part, which is uh, the next type of belts coming up. So we've this built and uh, then we can look at this beautiful little build here and uh, then we just have to sort of progress a few hours into the game. We get red signs and we get unlocked the number of uh, additional sciences and then we can start uh, looking at when we want to expand it. They will require us to upgrade all these belts to Mark II belts and all of the um, all the sorters into Mark III sorters because that is at the same tech level. And so a bit of time has passed and we have now unlocked some red science and we're ready to 
expand our early game hub to include all the things we need up to and including all of the logistics drones or fidget spinners and the first thing we want to do is we want to add some steel we also have extended our copper and silicon line the silicon line you can make that locally by using uh, by using some uh, some stone and you have plenty of stone on the home planet so that should not be a problem here we have we've also upgraded all the belts to mark two belts and uh, what we are going to do here is uh, just add a little steel build you can always uh, do this steel build earlier if you feel like it it um, it's it's pretty good to have in here i just added it at this point because this is when i need it for my build here so we're adding some steel into this location and we're just going to get that going luckily we have a faster drone so this will be building pretty damn quickly now well i mean comparatively compared to before oh, we have one little one over here that just doesn't want to get built there and this now goes up on the first floor or the raised belt here and uh, that is uh, going to be used for pretty uh, clever little design we have come up with here and there we go i'm gonna get that drag that just a bit down here and unfortunately There, this is how you kind of have to do it because you need to sort of drag it out so you can get this going. Let's make sure we get all of this propagated inwards. And we just move down the line and add this one all the way to the end. This one, and I want to get two. Raise it. Yeah, we'll just make it on too long and then uh, shorten it. So now we have steel at the top and iron at the bottom. That doesn't seem like it's particularly useful. But the thing is, there are no items that you require both iron and steel. So you would either need iron or steel to get in here. So now we have all the things at this end. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to shorten these two just by one. Because otherwise they don't work with the next blueprint. And we're going to see if we can get that to fit. get the blueprint here and i will be rotating it and hold your breath this is never working of course that was a small little thing uh, that is because we still have a little bit of more space here so we'll go back in and we can actually just paste it uh rotate and let it work it works it's brilliant uh, what we are seeing here is that these are actually set to be using uh, using the Mark II setup here, and that's not something we actually have uh, available at this moment. But uh, you can either might, maybe you have it, maybe you don't. That's uh, depends on where you are. But uh, I can always you can always just downgrade it here. There, let's uh, get this uh, done, and then we can see all the things that we have available in this network. And so now this is built, we have all the things that we can take a look at what are the things we've added. We've added chemical plants, we've added uh, the bigger storage boxes, we've added the, uh, what is it called, the uh, oil extractors, oil refinery, Tesla towers, or wireless power towers. We have now also included, which we did not have previously, we have our proliferators, and then we have the silicon because that's uh, used for the crystal the spray coder here. And we have also built some some processors really weird but the processors are actually needed because they need to go out on this belt because there are several things that require processors and because we have uh, our copper and silicon in here we can also make some solar panels easily which is going to be super handy for us uh, for power in the future we have even made a location that can make geothermal power station of course that will require us to actually get some super conductive super magnetic rings in but that's a bit tricky here this is the only one we don't have and that the reason why we don't have it is because I want to have the pilers, call them staggers, damn it, uh, also in here, but that's not possible. Now we have at this location our steel at the bottom and copper at the bottom, at, uh, iron at the bottom, and then we sort of flip it around and then filter so it's iron coming in here. And those are the two most important things that we can get. Of course, uh, we, uh, we will need to handcraft a few things here to get the ball rolling, but uh, what we basically need to do is make sure that we have these hats on, Yes, they're called hats. And there, there, and there. They will be set up too. Um, the first one here is going to be requesting photon combiner and uh, demand it. 
Uh, the next one. Mm, they're probably too far away. This will be here and demand. And the next one here will be... What was that last one we wanted? That's the green turbines here. And uh, also that doesn't really exist. And I'm pretty sure because that's one of the things. As soon as we have it, we also need to make sure that we upgrade this part. And well, that's the only one we can upgrade. So what we need to do at this point is we simply need to add a lot of storage here. Everything we have in this location, I want that to be set up with to be available so that I can uh, get these things get directly to my inventory. This is why I've designed it this way. And then we have everything really uh, available to our inventory and we can then go and push them in here. And by default, they will know what they're supposed to do and they will be able to export it into my inventory as, uh, as needed. And that means now we can start working on requesting all the stuff we want inbound to our own inventory. There. Get another stack. That, 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 that. And uh, look at that. They are now coming in and we're just making making sure that we have all the things uh, in here that we we can get. This is not getting anywhere yet. And that's simply because uh, the processor build is just way too slow i'd also recommend to get another processor build uh, to get the get that going uh, oh right that doesn't work so we'll just take these and get them in here so we can get some of that some of that and these will now also be going so now we have everything available to our network with the except that one which we can't have so this is uh, basically a uh, the final product here and also one more thing this one it's going to be a bit uh, weird to do it like this, but um, oh, uh, this will be requesting just the normal towers there and get that inbound. And then it also means that one of the exceptions over here and I'm just going to go down to find it. It is this one. It'll then be tracked as being available to send out so they can go up to this location here. And you can see there already the fidget spinners are flying back and forth. So this is uh, what we, uh, how we want to build it. If you see anything that you think you'd be missing here, well, I have no idea what that would be. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I think we have everything that we'd want to have in uh, in this this hub. And uh, of course, we can expand it further later on, but that will be another episode. This one's gone long enough as it is. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you want uh, find it interesting. As I said. The blueprints are available in the description below, so do check them out. And also, of course, I am streaming Dyson Sphere Program, where we come up with new cool designs such as this. So uh, do check out my Discord for the schedule or on Twitch for the schedule there as well. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.